the fool of a nation that doesn't honor its veterans and revere its saviors. Through its long career, the Afro Boston was both. At the height of the Cold War, through the most dangerous years, 1956 to 69, stayed silent and invisible, patrolling the perimeters of hostile airspace. When tensions were at their highest, Boston held the line, saying by its presence to any aggressor, don't even try it. And they did. So, here she is. She left the Air Force in 1993. It took until 2007 to get her flying again. And yet, she went on to the display circuit in 2008. She's been with us ever since, which an awful lot of people thought would never happen. So, at the right hand end of the runway, poised and ready to go.
16 of them in the main undercarriage and, and two on the nose wheels to get a good view of those as she comes by. And as she comes to the centre of the display, we'll see the undercarriage come up. And uh, the next mover after that, she'll demonstrate the size of the bomb bay, the weapons bay inside that. Of course, the weapons bay in a bomber is the very heart of the machine. It's what the whole thing is designed to do. It's what flying the aeroplane is all about. And you'll see the size of that. And on that Brooklyn's raid, it took 21 1,000 pound bombs, 21,000 tons of bombs in that bomb bay which is really quite extraordinary. So here she is, uh, ear down. Somebody was doing an underwing tour at Waddington, and by the way, you will be able to do that after she's flown here today, if you want to. Um, somebody left a complete set of lipstick lip, lip marks on the undercarriage door. Now, we know that everybody loves Falcon, but really, this is a bit much. But honestly, if you go on a tour, please don't do it again, because it'll get out of control. But anyway, I, I, I think it kind of went viral anyway um, on the internet. Now this aeroplane was actually the first B-2 version of the Falcon into RAF service and Bomber Command in 1960. She first, first flown that year, so she's 54 this year. Look for the Bombay opening as she comes by.
picture that is, the sun glinting on the, the beautiful paintwork uh, as beautifully kept by Tap Stone, the crew chief and engineer, and his team of six engineers daily work miracles on this 54-year-old airplane. He says he's close to saying 558, five, the airflow against those huge barn doors, actually much bigger than a barn door, delta wings uh, to slow the airplane down. When she's finished, she will be towed back into position where she was before, and that's right close to the Balkan village, which is quite far off to the left-hand end of the display line. You'll be very welcome. Please do go there uh, and make yourselves known to the people in the Balkan village. You can do an underwing tour with the aircraft uh, later this afternoon. Um, they really would like to see you, and you'll find out all there is to know um, about the Balkan. You can join the um, Balkan to the Sky Club, um, and... Oh, get all sorts of things. The Balkan app for your mobile. Um, the Balkan village is run by trust volunteers here at Farnborough, um, and it's really worth going to see, to see what you might be able to do to help. So after she's landed, she'll be towed in, and you'll be able to get pretty close to her. We're still trying to raise, we still keep having to raise all that money. But let's just watch her land. Kev Rumin's keeping the nose right up, the tail almost scraping along the runway. He does have a little warning machine that tells him when the tail's getting close. 16 wheels down, another two to go. The nose, you see those big air brakes on the top and bottom of the wing also helping to slow the aircraft down. And there, the nose just dropping. Vulcan has landed all 18 wheels. Just one further thing, if I may. Play Bond Jeffries in the extra 330. Alex, two-seater aircraft, Jeff Petroleum, sponsor Bob. Without Jeff Petroleum, we would uh, honestly play.